everyone hope all of you are doing great in the last video we had built the reusable component for displaying the title okay in this video we're going to build the category section okay so i have already opened the project in my visual code studio and let's do one thing let's start working click on this component and create kind of folder call it category okay simply copy and create a page called category.js inside that we're going to create a css file module.css okay simply come to category and type rafce and we have to import the css file internal import and that's coming from the same directory okay that's the internal import we have simply close this one and now let's come to the component.js and i believe that you guys are getting familiar with this okay so we're going to import the component here we'll say import we'll call the category and that's coming from the same directory and here we have to export that simply save it close this one close this one and go to the pages index.js and here we have to import that okay category simply copy here and pass it here close this one okay so that's going to be our category section and now we can start working exactly on our category category component okay so here we have to restart the application to check everything so working fine click on this 3000 and here we are in the browser let's close all the tab and reload the browser and scroll down and here you can see we have that category title component and here we have the category component so everything is working fine and we can render that let's come back to the code editor and bring the terminal down and now we can start working on our jsx okay we're going to import a couple of things first thing is going to be the image coming from next.js and now we have to import the icon so first one is going to be the circle fill and that's coming from react icon bootstrap okay bs now we have to import images and that's coming from dot dot image file folder sorry and we have to demo data we'll call it category array and one two three four five okay so the reason why i have taken this category array because the data will get from our api from the back end it will come in the form of array and we're going to display that category here in this component as a dynamic component okay so that's the data we have now we're going to return it and we're going to give a class we'll call it let's say category small inside that we'll have on our dynamic data we'll call it category array we're going to map over it element i instant return we'll take a div and it will have a class we'll call it style dot category box and that we're going to let's take a keep let's provide a key otherwise react will give you an array okay we have a key now let's come down we're going to take the image and we're going to provide the source of the image and we have the image inside the images and we can pick the let's say category background and let's assign a class we'll call it style dot category box image okay now we write the alt it will say background image we have to assign the width is going to be let's say 350 and height is going to be let's say 150 and it will have a object fit to cover okay that's the image <coughs> now simply come down we're going to take the div it will have a class style dot category box title and that we're going to take a span and it will have our icon okay let's come down and here we're going to take another div it will have a class called style dot category box title info and that we're going to take this h4 and it will call entertainment and now we'll take this hardcore value nf 1995 nft so right now we are doing this hard code value we're going to take the dynamic data from the array and we're going to render over it okay so this is the hard code value so that's the jsx part for this category okay so we are importing internal external and we have this dynamic data error demo data and here we have the jsx okay let's open the terminal and come back to the browser and here you can see we can able to render the image and all the data related to that so everything is working fine and we don't have any error so now come back to the css file category css file and let's start styling okay 
so simply copy this category and let's target that category it will have a padding 4 ram and 0 ram display is going to be let's say grid and grid template column repeat let's say 6 1 fr now we'll have the gap to 2 ram so this is how it will look okay it's looking really good let's come down we're going to target the category box it will have a line height to 0 and transition all 0.3 second easy in we'll target the border radius 1 ram over flow hidden cursor pointer and padding bottom is going to be 1 ram so it's look good let's come down and let's add a media query so it's going to be a min device width is going to be 320 pixels and max device width is going to be let's say 425 pixels so we're going to target the category it will have a grid template column 1fr so you can see this is how we look on a mobile device and simply replicate this and let's add a one more breakpoint so we're going to change this to let's say 427 and this will become 770 pixels second breakpoint and this will have a 2 repeat 2 1 fr okay so that's the second breakpoint for our media query now simply copy and let's add the third breakpoint and this time we're going to change this to let's say 772 pixels and this will become around 1000 24 pixels 25 pixels okay and let's make it three okay so that looks pretty good that's the three breakpoint now let's come here and here we're going to take another div and simply put this entire code inside it copy and paste here okay and that's how we look let's assign a class and let's call it let's call it box category okay now simply copy that come back to the CS file go on top and let's target that and let's say width is going to be 80 percent so this and margin zero auto so it will be in the center copy that and come back to the media query and do this targeted here okay so width is going to be let's say 90 percent okay look perfect it's look perfect on a mobile device you can see now let's have a look so this is how it will look on a desktop if you go to this single this is how it will look on a tablet two and this is how it will look on a desktop and on a complete desktop it will look like this so right now we have five but i want to display six okay okay so what's the problem let's come back to the code let's come back to the jsx and here we have taken five five only so we have to take one more okay six so the total number of category areas should be six to display six component but i had only five okay so right now if i come here you can see we have six component okay so now we have fixed that problem so let's come down let's start styling that so we'll target the category box on over effect we're going to add a box shadow where and we'll have our box shadow okay will come down we will target the category box image it will have a border radius 1 ram let's target the bar title display is going to be flex a line item is going to be center and padding is going to be 1 ram gap is going to be 1 ram so that looks pretty good let's come down we'll target the category box title span Let's make it font size to 2 RAM, 3 RAM. Let's make it a little bigger and margin top is going to be 1 RAM. Okay. Let's look good. Nice effect. As you can see on click of click event, we have this nice box shadow. So it's looking already much better. Let's come back on a full screen and you can see it's looking really good on a large screen. On over effect, we have getting this styling. Let's look good. So nice effect we are getting let's come back to the code make it full screen close this one and now let's come back to this here 
So make sure you do the changes in the category array. So earlier we had only five element, but right now we are displaying six element. Okay. So let's come here. So things are looking good and working fine. So it's looking good. We are working on this. Click it when we are changing that. Let's do the inspect element, check the responsiveness. So it's 100% responsive. You can see we, all the breakpoints we have included, it's working fine. This one is also working fine. So this is pretty good. On the last screen, we have this three. And on the desktop mode, we'll have complete six row. Okay, let's open a getup and let's add the entire code to getup. Let's close this one and close all the files, open the terminal and stop the application from running and delete this folder get and simply initialize the get in it and simply come here create a new repo let's call it nft marketplace and this will become category okay head enter and now we have to run this command simply copy the head enter okay my bad simply clear the terminal and type get add okay dot and now we can run the command hit enter copy this branch hit enter copy the link hit enter now simply push that application to the get up okay this process will take a little bit of time so just wait you can see it's uploading so finally the uploading process got completed simply clear the terminal and come back to the get up and reload the browser and here you can able to find the repo go to the component folder and here you can able to see our service sorry category folder in that we have all the code which we have written of the category so okay so everything is working fine we have built this amazing category section let's come back to the original one in the next video we're going to design this filter okay this one is going to be a little bit complicated and tricky but we're going to design it as a reusable component so we can utilize it in different pages as well okay because every single page going to have this filter option so we have to build a logic and then we're going to divide design that card nft card so in the next video we're going to focus only on this filter options